And we're back with another episode of Before You Buy, that show where we give you some straight up gameplay and our first impressions of the latest games releasing. As usual, it's me, Jake, and today we're talking about Hot Wheels Unleashed. This game, uh, this game really surprised me, straight up. It's a game based on the popular and now classic collectible car toys. So Hot Wheels Unleashed is like part arcade racer, part fun nostalgia trip, and it tries to walk a nice line between being playable for kids and adults. And uh, it very much seems to succeed on all the fronts. So uh, just some housekeeping here. We've been playing a review copy for the past few days and this footage is captured all on the PC version, but it's 50 bucks in the United States, just a bit under full game price and it's available for all the major consoles. So uh, this game, Hot Wheels Unleashed, is really nice in terms of just the offering. There's a generous amount of content and features for a game like this that really could have phoned it in and just rode the coattails of the brand. Uh, these games have done so in the past. Uh, you know, considering it's just racing around tracks, it could lose your interest fairly quickly, but it doesn't. Before we get into the modes and stuff, the actual gameplay, the racing itself, let's go into that. It's arcade racing style. So it might seem pretty simple at first, but it's really, really satisfying. Right trigger is accelerate, left trigger is brake, A or X or whatever is to boost. You get boosts by driving over certain platforms or by driving well and doing cool drifts to build your boost meter, which uh, there are slight variations between cars, but it basically means you go really fast and you're gonna wanna use it in the right moments. Now, the sense of speed overall uh, is boosting or not is really incredible. How the game telegraphs speed to you to convince you that you're going fast is really important in racing games of all kinds, and they nail it here. The sensation the game gives you through visuals and through your controller make it satisfying and often pretty intense. My hands actually got sweaty sometimes. Uh, drifting feels great and super arcade style, so each car is a little different and it can be a little tricky to nail it down perfectly sometimes. You can see with some cars, I'm not really good at it, and it's like bumper cars, other cars, I got it down pat. It's easy to overshoot, but if you've played other more arcadey, action-y, fun style drifting, you should be able to pick it up fairly quickly. It's easy to get into and pick it up, but it takes more time to really master. And that goes for a lot of the game and little bits of depth you could find here and there. Now, uh, the tracks are, of course, Hot Wheels style, meaning uh, they're mostly orange, red, or yellow, and there's all kinds of fun bends and weird loops and plenty of boost pads and strips to add creativity to your driving throughout. Now, sometimes you'll drive on the ceiling or on a wall and your car will be magnetized to the track, kind of like Mario Kart style. Other times, like certain loops, it's just on traditional speed. So you're gonna need to boost through it or you'll lose a little stability. Early races are fairly forgiving. You know, you can bounce off walls and keep going just fine as you slowly master cornering and drifting and stuff because it usually takes a little bit of prediction and early commitment to turning. As tracks get more twisty, uh, the less it feels like a traditional racer and more like a game where you're actually a toy. Many cars are a bit lighter, a bit bouncier than you'd expect, but in a way that doesn't feel cheap or crappy. It feels fun and convincing. Plus, part of the battle is maneuvering in the air. Whether it's like a brief little bump or like a massive launch in the air between two pieces of track, you have full dedicated maneuverability and control and boosting. The way gravity feels in this game is really, really satisfying. And like, I don't wanna make it sound like boosting mid-jump and flinging around feels like Rocket League, but with racing, but yeah, sometimes it kinda does. And you know, you're still up to the whim of actual speed propelling you forward, but in terms of the freedom you have in between between those boundaries, it's pretty nice. And sometimes it can make for some really bizarre stuff on screen or even some weird shortcuts and it's cool. Now at first it does feel like a little baby game until you get yourself into some crazy races and maps because the AI can be pretty tenacious and the game can challenge you. And it's worth pointing out that the game does have multiple difficulty modes so anyone can play, which we think is nice. It's also worth highlighting that the visuals really heighten the experience as well. Uh, there's like a really good sense of scale here because maps are centered around a few different area types, you know, one being a cool basement, another being a construction site, stuff like that, where everything outside of the tracks 
are absolutely massive. The scaling is done so perfectly, making you feel like a tiny car, but still being right up in the action. It's got kind of like that Honey, I Shrunk the Kids or Ant-Man style effect to things, like not overly, but just enough. The detail goes from the tracks, of course, with iconic recognizable pieces and barriers and speed traps and stuff like that, but also the cars. Man, they are like insanely detailed and some of the texturing makes them look really freaking real. Like, it's cool to see. And as someone who's only like a casual fan of the cars, I used to get them as Christmas gifts and stuff, but uh, it is very cool. And there's all the fan favorite funky cars over many, many years. And they're shiny, they're opaque, they're metallic, they're recognizable, and they got the fun stuff in here too, like Kit, uh, Ninja Turtles, the Batmobile, and of course, uh, the DeLorean. I mean, it's like the time machine version, but it's still cool. It's my favorite car ever. Uh, but there are plenty of other toy cars based on real world cars too. I've seen Fiat's, Audi's, El Camino's, Ford trucks, seemingly lots of fun to be had with this stuff. And there's an added layer to the cars, really. It's how you collect them. Through racing, you earn in-game currency and you can spend these coins on blind boxes. These random boxes that pop up and pop open and give you a random car and hope you get lucky. Maybe you'll get something cool. Now, yes, uh, it seems screaming for microtransactions. Like that opening animation of the box immediately made my eyes glaze over, but thankfully there is no real world money option in sight. The only thing you can buy is more traditional DLC stuff. You know, there's no buying coins to get more coins to open up random loot boxes. It's all, you know, fairly fair and normal for now. Along with this though, you're unlocking stuff to customize your vehicles themselves with cool paint jobs, stickers and textures, as well as customizing the basement area, which actually is reflected in game when you're building tracks and stuff. It's super customizable, almost down to the point of like unnecessary, but it's still really appreciated, like down to uh, wall and floor textures, colors, furniture, you name it, it's wild. Now all this, also works really nicely with the game's photo mode. You just have to pause the game to access it, and from there, you can capture some pretty awesome images of like your Halloween spooky race car, or your hot rod van, or your bumper car thing, or your DeLorean, whatever you'd like. The, the photo mode features are really well done and remind me of Sony's offerings for their first party games, kinda. Uh, really, I can't wait to see like what people come up with here in the photo mode community, because like, especially with the toy cars themselves, they look like toy cars. So the game plays well and looks nice, and there's a decent amount to do too, like I mentioned at the start. You can access uh, quick modes and just do quick races, or you can hop into a sort of career progression mode. It's called City Rumble, and you essentially, you work your way through the maps, uh, kind of like Super Mario Brothers 3 style, doing various races in various different modes. You know, there's sprints, regular old checkpoint races, there's boss battle races, time trials, and some surprises on the maps as you go in different directions to find different stuff. The game spits out more coins at you as you win, and it seems like the progression is decent. It's not super generous, but it's not also like super grindy. You know what I mean? There's nothing really going on story-wise here. It's just curated races, but some of them are downright incredible and surprisingly challenging. It's where you'll spend a lot of time. I know I also mentioned quick races and stuff. Uh, you can also uh, race through player-created tracks, which is much better because harder tracks you gotta buy with coins, which is kind of weird and disappointing. But people have already been creating astoundingly insane tracks and those have thankfully been keeping me busy. Uh, some of them are extremely difficult or even like frustrating to complete. I actually wish the developers implemented some way of rewarding you for completing player tracks without it being exploited because many of them were like so fun, but after getting through some of them, I felt like I deserved a medal. Now, speaking of rewards, along with coins and unlocks, you can also earn gears. You can trash cars you don't like, or if you get doubles, uh, for money or for gears. And then you can spend these gears in upgrading your car's stats. So you can kind of have a decent car, but push it up a notch if you just really like it. Uh, it's just another added little level that is small, but it works well and is nice to have. There is multiplayer as well online, which uh, admittedly I didn't get to test a ton. It's fairly simple, but you can quick matchmake or create your own lobby. And that's very good. You know, in recent years, that type of thing has fallen to the wayside in some games and I'm glad it's here. We're gonna have to keep an eye on how servers do. Like I said, we're playing a little bit before launch, but uh, yeah. The other big thing is the track editor, which 
I think, you know, I'm not a hardcore Hot Wheels fanboy or anything, but I, I think it will live up to fan expectations. There's a lot here, you know, like, and you unlock more special pieces by playing and racing, but it's all pretty freeform and generous with how many items and how many things you can put down on a track. And you don't have to really worry much about physics, only when you actually uh, test the track yourself. It really is mind boggling. You know, I'm not that creative myself, but just seeing what's on offer here, I'm really impressed. The controls do take a minute to get used to, as you can see with us here, but it's still accessible enough that young people might have a lot of fun making stuff here, and that's, that's good. So, as you can tell, there's quite a bit to this one. Hot Wheels Unleashed does feel primed for those microtransactions, but if it sticks to not having them here, uh, it, it's all pretty compelling to play. Occasionally earning enough coins to pop open a box and hopefully get a cool new car to race around with is actually rewarding and addictive, but in like the old fashioned video game way. The racing is also hardcore, straight up fun which is the most important thing here, really. They, they've crafted some goofy, fun, accessible, playable as bumper cars if you suck, but if you wanna push it to the limit, you can learn your car and get good. And all of it, however you play, whatever you make in the game, it's a blast, and I, I'm genuinely really surprised here. I just didn't see this one coming, but that's how a Before You Buy works. I give you pros, cons, and some personal opinion. And now I wanna hear yours down in the comments. If you've jumped into this game early, I think you can get access to it early if like you pre-order a special edition or something. Let me know what you think so far. It seems like Hot Wheels fans, the hardest of the hardcore, are super into this, but just arcade racing fans, I wanna know what your perspective is, even just from watching the gameplay. Let us know anything you want about Hot Wheels Unleashed. And if you enjoyed this video and maybe it helped you out, maybe it informed you, or you just had a good time, I don't know, click on the like button is all you gotta do. It really helps us out and we would very much appreciate it. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.